Well, good morning and welcome back to the Ohio farm. Six o'clock in the morning on June 3. We're at the end of June. We got a lot of work to do today. Uh, harvest is coming up for wheat and canola tomorrow. We want to buy a wheat field that's going to be ready to harvest next month as well. So we'll have our own wheat field to harvest and then the new one that we need to buy. I'll probably buy that today. So uh, I don't forget because I'm afraid if I sleep on it, the owner will, or the current owner will harvest that crop before I get to it. So I want, I want to buy it with the crop in it and uh, be able to sell it. Okay, so we got two honey pallets. So we can take that to market today. Uh, we need to get a hay bale to take over to the wildlife feeding station, the feeding place. The mod is called the feeding place. For those of you interested, I know the mod list uh, in the description gets pretty long figure out what's what in there sorry but no. best I can do alright so I wonder how much more will spawn as we back away yeah, just one crate on the pallet I also need to take a load of milk today uh, because that's starting to get full over there. Well, not full. It's so that you gotta turn a truck on to open the tailgate, but you do. And it's not full over there, but it's getting full. It's probably about half full. That's money we could easily earn by... Yeah, that's as far as we're going to get, huh? I need to get it kind of centered in between there so I can push it forward. I think that ought to do it. Ease up. Okay. Oh. A little more. Now kind of push it forward. Yep. I think that's far enough to get the other pallet in. So I could have got up earlier because we do have a lot to do today, but I figure, eh. Um, no point. I want to try and get Oh, wait, I don't want this one. <laughs> what am I thinking? I want the full one. <sighs> I'd like to keep this episode to just uh, today. Or get the entire day done in uh, this episode in the summertime the days are so long that there's a lot of work that you can get done depends on how much you time lapse and stuff but skid steers. Comes in handy over here. It's not 
really versatile, but it does fill a role. I think early on in the series, somebody recommended that I sell it. I think I've told you before my thoughts on selling things. Eh, it might have been in the other series, the old Polish farm. But basically, yeah, I don't like to sell stuff. Never know when it might come in handy or you might need it. And you don't get that much money for it anyway. So uh, now in FS22, where slot count is nowhere near the concern it was in FS19, and the fact that I'm on uh, PlayStation 5, um, yeah, there's no reason to get rid of equipment because you don't really have to free up slot space. It's really not that big of a concern. I think the graphics are much better on the PS5. I don't know, the, P the PS4 almost looks a little cartoonish to me anymore. I saw that we got charged for production costs. Let's check, see if it's out of material yet. No, it's still got 40,000. Okay. Still got like 40,000 liters. Hmm. I'm getting low on small hay bales. Probably should do a hay cut over at the container field for small bales. Next opportunity, I think. Strap that in there. Strap that one. There we go. Take a look at the chickens. I think the cows could stand some feed as well. So when we come back with the milk truck, we'll do that. We can use the where's the jet? The John Deere's over there with the baler. We can use the John Deere to move the uh, the forage trailer out of the way on that stave silo, so we can get the feed mixer under it. Because you can't move it with the little mass; he doesn't work on that big trailer. All right, quickly, we need to get over. Oh, when I pull up to the stop sign, I'll have to check the, uh, mm, check, see where the best price is for the honey. Honey is, where they're down, should be in here somewhere, All right, there we go. Uh, 1671 at Farm Shop, ooh, or, yeah, we want to take it to, oh, sorry, holding up traffic here. We want to go to the co-op. They got a really good price for the honey. Got to be careful. Don't want to lose my hay bale, though. Ooh, I'm speeding quite a bit. Watch that. Could gently back up and try not to get the uh, hay bale into the trigger, but 
I'm not even going to risk it. Here we go. How much of that? Almost 1500, 1451. Right, let's get my head back. way to the container field. Which would be down this dirt track here. So we did a uh, barley, well, a few barley contracts yesterday in mid-June. Uh, one of them was over there by the west place and we used our combine on that field so the farmer the owner of that field that we harvested would like us to cultivate the field for him and we have the use of his equipment so we got like a big steiger uh, so I'll probably have a worker help me out with that while I'm doing the straw baling but that should bring in some income and help pay for things. Always want to try and bring in income if we can. without dropping it. Nope. Lost my grip. So this does not look in its final growth state yet. Which means, of course, it will be ready uh, in July when we have two wheat fields and a canola field to harvest. Everything happens all at once. Why? I'm going to jump cut back to the house in the interest of saving time for the episode. I'll see you there in a flash. Okay, we're arriving back at the house. Didn't take long, right? me a little longer than it did you. Alright. So we're going to grab the milk truck out of the building here. We'll head over to the other farm. Over to the west place. So I think I was mentioning the other day, maybe, that uh which mirror is gonna keep that uh they changed the uh pinnacle tanker mod updated it so that it I was afraid I was going to hit the pickup. They updated it so that it would take additional liquid types, and now it would take milk. That would be a nice milk truck to have. Maybe when we get a little bigger, maybe we can get that milk truck. I should... Uh, have I added the mod? I don't think I have. I need to load the mod into this uh, save game so that if Mike could pop up and use equipment that would be cool I gotta remember to do that alright so 
We got a couple things we need to do. I want to feed the cows too. Oh, and you can see the Steiger, it's already down there with the cultivator. Oh man, we can, uh... We can put manure down on this grass field too. We, our pile's getting pretty big. Huh, that's interesting. How much is, I don't know how much this holds. How much is there? Thirty-four thousand. That'll definitely cover that grass field, I think. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to feed. I wanted to feed the cows. Hmm. Did miss a bit there. So I think what I'll do is I'll take one of these large, large bales. I don't think there's anything in here, right? I think it's empty. Oh no, it's got some in there. Oh, well, we can just go do that straight away then. Not even have to worry about uh, mixing it up. So I thought we were gonna have to move the forge trailer out of the way with the John Deere to be able to even mix some up, but it looks like we've got some in there. So we should just be able to back up, grab it, and uh, go feed the cows, and we can go do the milk. And we can worry about mixing it up later when we got more time. Yeah, it's full. Excellent. I did not realize that I had it full. I thought it was empty. Well, I was thinking ahead for once. They're not showing up. There we go. The mistake I made early on is that the trigger is out a little bit from the railing there, so. There we go. Alright. Let's just start it out and we'll take a nice slow leisurely drive up. But yeah, I'd get too close to the railing and then the trigger wouldn't show up. I had no idea what was going on. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, I can't beat the cow. It's just got to be out a little wider. And it makes sense because otherwise you're dumping the, uh, the feed inside. There we go. That was good. Okay. We'll just leave this right here for now. We do have to figure something out with the slurry soon because this is getting pretty full. Uh, probably what would be good is to get one of those field tanks that you can put somewhere. I'd probably put it down there on the far end of the grass field and that would probably double our capacity for slurry storage between here at the cow shed and then that field tank because slurry goes pretty quick uh, 
so I don't know how many fields we'd be able to do with it, but that's the idea is we want to start using the manure and the slurry to uh, fertilize the fields so we don't have to spend so much money on fertilizer, even though yeah, it's just money. But, you know, it's one of the processes, makes it more interesting and immersive. Let's uh, hop in here and fill it up with milk. I think it'll continue even though I'm not in it. Um, yep, it's just slowly filling. While it continues to fill, let me go check on these guys. Let's take a look at the animal menu. Animals. Okay, so there's our our milk's going down. Um, everything looks good over in the cow shed. Chickens are okay. And then these guys are alright too. Okay, good. Everything's good. We will need to check where the best price for milk is. Let's check that. So we're last looking at honey. Milk's going to be up from here. There it is. Eleven fifty-six at our sell everything container. Okay. The farm shop doesn't buy milk. Oh, because it's probably they don't want the competition. <laughs> That's the farm shop for the dairy over there. Really nice dairy. I love the pasture that they have with the terrain relief on it. Really makes it nice. The fender on this model, the front fender looks a little blocky. You notice the opening could be smoother, but still, uh, it's a good looking milk truck. We do need to be careful that we don't get some slosh when we come up to the uh, stop sign up here, so we'll start easing off a little early. sooner than that <laughs> went over the stop line fortunately no no cops there I think we need more storage space should either build a building or get one of them Quonset huts put in. So money-wise, we're doing okay. We got 452,000. 316 of that, I think, is going to be gone by the end of the day when we get the... Uh, field and then we're going to need another like 100,000 to sort out the forager to do the uh, chop the corn to make the corn silage in the pit I think we're going to get a load of silage off of that too a load of chip corn chaff 13,876 okay nice All right, in the interest of uh, time for the episode, I'm going to 
jump cut back to the farm. I'll see you there. Okay, I'm arriving back at the farm. Something I realized when I came up to the stop sign there, that it is the game physics at play. When we are loaded, uh, it's a lot harder to stop than when you're empty. So that's cool that they've got that working. I'm gonna back in this time. Be easier to get out next time. Of course, we'll probably just have to move it when uh, we're done with the combine, which will be fairly soon. And this is kind of one of the reasons I said it'd be nice to have more storage over at the uh, West place. Could keep the milk truck over there. We're gonna have to put the forage harvester somewhere once we buy that. Speaking of buying, we haven't looked at used equipment yet today. So let's do that real quick. So this is tempting, this Massey Ferguson 6700S. It's over half off. It's still, I, I can't spend that money. It would be, get that, put a front loader on it. Get the... Uh, it's another 25 grand to get the 200 horsepower. I've been saying, uh, I'll think about it, but I shouldn't do it. I've been saying that I'd like a tractor between the Massey Ferguson and the John Deere. The John Deere's. Is it 170 or 190? I don't know which shoulder I looked over. But the little masses, I like something about the 150 horsepower range. I think it's 190, the John Deere. All right, so we're going back over the West Place. We need to get the uh, get the worker going down on the cultivating, and then we'll come up and do straw. I think so. I think that's where we're at. What else do we need? To, oh, manure. Should we do the straw first? We gotta sell that straw. I think I'll bale the straw first, spread the manure, and then we'll sell the bales. While he's working down, while we get a worker working on this. That's a big old beast. I am not good at these driving these articulated tractors though, because I don't use them. I don't use the big stuff that much. M mainly because I never make enough money <laughs> to be able to afford something like this. Let's check it out. Case International Harvester Steiger. Wow, that's something. Look at the size of this cultivator, too. It's going to flip out one more time. Wow, this thing is enormous. I really got to zoom out to be able to even get it in. Frame it in the shot. All right, so. I got crop destruction on. I can't drive in there, but once 
once the worker gets on it, he could. I still might do a couple of headlands though, just to be safe. Okay, I gotta stay away from it myself. Definitely want to on this end of the field, probably on both. Yeah, close enough. What I'll do is I'll I'll just do this end. So I'll uh, I'll go across this side to the other side, down to the bottom, and then across, and then I'll flip around and come back up, and then start him in the corner where I just started heading down the other way. Come on, turn. I think I put in excessive input. It starts to turn slow. And I keep it cranked for too long, trying to get it to start turning. And then it just over, I basically, I guess you'd call it oversteer. I mean, we're going nine miles. This is a good size field. Imagine how long it would take us with our cultivator. Maybe we need to get bigger gear. him enough room to have a decent runoff to turn around but and I'll just try not to watch him too closely so I don't see him driving into my field even though it won't hurt anything I just it'll make me cringe to see it all right okay so what did I say I was going to do I said I was going to go bale the straw then we might spread manure and then we're gonna get the straw bales off the field because we'll need to do that to be able to bale the straw off of the wheat field. So that's the plan of action. This should give us about, I don't know, $7,000 for what little work we put in here. All right. So what I want you to do, I need you to just go back and forth through this field without screwing it up. You got it? Sounds good. Take it away. Should buy it right now, but I'm gonna wait. Is 
There's something else I'm forgetting to do. Did we fertilize a cornfield? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Shade here. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. Eight o'clock, it's still early. We're getting a lot of work done. And I imagine we're uh, filling up the episode. Do I have? I don't think I have automatic drop on. We'll find out. How big are these straw bales? hundred liters okay I don't have automatic drop on which is good because I don't like it I find when I do automatic drop I just screw up and forget pay attention to my fill bar. Of course, I, sometimes I don't. Anyway, 57% right now. Try and drop it between those two windrows right there. Or swaths. There we go. That way it should be able to come back and forth. Alright, so this is probably a good candidate for a time lapse right here.
cleaning up the last bit of straw here. This part of the field is a little painful to work in just because it's... That's probably why people recommended that I take the road out, but I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. So, yeah, I didn't do a great job of uh, keeping on top of when to unload the baler. I would get caught up uh, looking down. You can see the Steiger over in the corner of the field there where the worker got done. But I was looking down over that way to kind of um, see the worker in the other field helps bring the map to life you know and there's other activity going on that's why i think multiplayer would be really cool uh but there's a map what i think it's court farms or court farm uh i think daggerwind did like a preview of the map yeah i don't think it's even out yet but he knows Oxygen David, so I think he gave him, like, access to it or whatever. Um, and on the edges of the map... Oh, I can't get... Oh, I can get through there. Um, like, in the distance, you see a farmer working in a field uh, in a combine or something like that. I mean, that's incredible. What am I? Uh, manure spreader. Uh oh. Am I going to be able to get to it? Probably not. Dang, twins. I just. Just going to be able to get to it. Can I get through? Can I turn? Turn, turn, turn. There we go. Oop. Got something in my way here, too. So, yeah, he's done over there. I gotta remember to collect on that before we leave out of the game for any reason. It's, uh, 916. Still early. We've been going fast and furious here in this uh, episode. <laughs> I don't know how we're doing on time. This is going to be tough to edit. I mean, I can time lapse most of that straw bailing. But a lot of the other stuff's going to take up time too. Get the bucket up a little more. Uh, right there. That way maybe we won't hit the... The weeders out a little farther than it has been in the past. There we go. Where am I going? Weight looks good on there, though, though. Well, this is something new we haven't done in this series yet. We have not spread manure. Ooh, that's heavy. We even got the weight on there and it's heavy. I can feel it. I don't remember what this holds. Probably around 15,000 maybe. I'll have to rinse out the bucket when we're done too. So we use this for silage. We don't want the cows to have to 
deal with that. Man, that's heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's some heavy ass. Need to do most of my maneuvering when the bucket's low. Whoa! Dropped it a little too quick. Wow. I think I need to just go forward. Making a mess. He <sighs> doesn't clean it up afterwards. Oh my goodness. What is that, four buckets or more? How full is that? 77%. Well, I should take most of another bucket then. And get this part cleaned up. I don't know if I can from this angle, but we'll try. Got it. Wow. I went through that manure pretty quick. Maybe it won't go as far as I think it will. Oh, come on. Hello. That's all it's going to take. I guess I should just go ahead and leave that in the bucket because I might need it. Well, we're going to refill it again. Looks like we maxed out the weight at 92%, so just over 21,000. Whoa, 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 how did I get up on the wall? I'm not looking where I'm driving. All right. What is the working width on this? Probably 15 meters. It would probably be wise to check. Okay, I know we got to raise that plate there. Okay. Let me check, see what the working width is. So there's a manure spreader here. Um, it's 24 meters. Oh, that's huge. 24 meters. Let's... 
Where is... Okay, I'm gonna do a little figure in here. I tried to put this rear tire on the line that you can see. Um, pull up the mini map. 136, 12, 17. Gonna head straight to the edge of the field. 131, that's five meters. All right, I'm at 131. One third, yeah, that's five meters. So that means 12. So I should be able to I think come here. I think if I run straight like this, I should be good. Well, let's give it a try. Just about. How fast are we working through it? Not too bad. <laughs> this is nice. Using our manure. Beauty. with the way that turned out uh, did a pretty good job of getting coverage I missed a couple of spots got a little off let's see if I can kind of get most of it all right so this part's gonna be a little tricky I uh, will just go over apply it's all right Yeah, I'm real pleased with how that turned out. Took just over, uh, well, just took four buckets in the, uh, in the wheel loader. Really pleased with that. doing on time probably not great so what I plan on doing is I plan on getting the straw bales off the field 
should have brought the trailer over with the pickup when I came over. I'm going to have to go back and get that. So I'm going to rinse the bucket here. This is the same bucket we use for the silage, so yeah, we don't want to contaminate it with manure. So we'll just pull over here by the uh, hydrant, grab the hose, and We'll wash it real good. If I can remember what button to use the tool. There we go. Alright, we'll get this sprayed off nice and good. Get it all clean. Uh, I think we've been running really long in this episode. You know, not a whole lot of time has passed in the sense of it's still before lunchtime. But I think uh, probably got a whole episode's worth of stuff here. I'm going to put this away. Got to be careful with the weight on the back of it because it sticks out a little bit further. So let's get it in here. Uh, so I'll probably do the rest of the work today off camera. We'll probably uh, clear the straw bales off that field and sell them. And then uh, we'll be ready to go start tomorrow with the uh, wheat harvest. I'm going to buy that field. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll be ready to go in the morning. So yeah, the money will look a lot. Well, that's yeah, camera, camera. Yeah. Hate it when the camera does that. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll be ready to start tomorrow. We'll have less money, but we'll have another field. And uh, yeah, uh, appreciate you hanging out with me here at the Ohio farm. Uh, I know your time valuable to you, and I appreciate that you spent some of it with me. I uh, hope you come back and visit us again.